Hi, Russ of Aquarimax here. My Multis had been taking a break from breeding for a while, but not anymore. Let's check it out. I found one of the best ways to coax the fry out is to give the fish a feeding of microworms. So here we go. Swirl some into the tank. And in just a moment, we should see some fry coming out. I'll make sure to get some close-ups so you can get a good look at them. So I've noticed fry in at least three separate clutches. This pair over here has a, at least a couple of fry. I've noticed uh, two at once. There may be more than that. There often are. Uh, the rule seems to be if you see one fry, there are probably more than that. Multis don't have particularly large broods. Some cichlids will have hundreds of fry at once. Multis don't. Oh, I see. This group over here has at least two fry. Hopefully that's visible in the shot right in the little cave formed by the uh, three shells. Just about in the center of the screen. I just saw one fry moving around there. A little bit difficult to see perhaps. And then here is where I found the first fry. Now it was only about mm, maybe a week or two weeks after I removed the assassin snail I saw one fry. I can see it now um, darting am among the, the shells near the base of the shells. Oh there it is. The larger fry, the oldest one, just poked out for a moment. And there's at least one more down there. Oh you see it down there between the two shells on the bottom right side of the tank there. And on the, in the other uh, territory, on the top left of the tank, I see one fry inside the shell on the right. Well, anyway, when I had discovered that there was an assassin snail in here, I decided that was probably the issue. So I removed it, but I also removed a nerite snail, just in case, because sometimes nerites have been known to eat snail eggs. Fortunately, I don't have to remove the Malaysian trumpet snails. They're a lot more difficult to remove, for one, just because they're parthenogenic. So if you have one, and you leave one in the tank, you're eventually going to have a lot more in the tank, but fortunately, multis have a good uh, defensive strategy when it comes to Malaysian trumpet snails. They will pick up and carry the snails off when they get too close to their nesting area. As you can see, this female is picking up this uh, snail shell and then spitting it out. Unfortunately, she's not realizing that the incline she's spitting the shell onto is just taking the shell right back to where it started, but it's kind of amusing to watch. So it, it's kind of funny that I was thinking about their diet, but really I shouldn't have worried much about their diet because they get a lot of live foods, they get microworms, they get Daphnia, they get scuds. They're always getting uh, things like that in addition to their flakes, so I really don't think that figured much into this issue um, with them not actually producing fry, I think uh, it's pretty obvious that with the removal of the assassin snail, this sudden increase in fry just means that that's what was happening. The assassin snail and or perhaps the nerite snail were just uh, predating on the eggs. And I'm really excited to have the colony going again. Um, much of the attraction of Maltese is their interesting behavior, but part of that behavior, a large part of that behavior, uh, relates to their, their breeding behavior. So it's just really nice to have them breeding again. And soon I will have a tank chock full of multis and we'll have to start finding homes for some of the excess fry. Thanks for watching today. I post videos every Friday all on aquarium and vivarium pets. Please feel free to share, rate, comment, and if you haven't already, subscribe. And then click the bell icon so you don't miss my next video.